Hi, guys. Uh, more tech tangles. Uh, something that I started to get fascinated by um, a couple years ago is multi knot work, primarily in Chase. Um, so instead of just having one knot, having multiple knots, so you leave the boy out in front and you create a big, what looks like a mess, but is actually not a mess because it all comes right back out. Um, and there's a lot you can do with these. There we are. Um, they open up a whole world of things you can do with tangles. Um, that's a lot of fun. But this is more just to get a little bit of the idea of what I've been working on out there because when I write it, people have no clue what the heck I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, the basic theory is you can leave your poi in its entrance plane for as long as your poi can handle, depending on how they interact with each other. Um, I've actually gotten uh, about 15 beats clean with my socks on one single plane interaction. Um, and a lot of times I keep them in that plane. I like it in a wall plane a lot. Um, and I use stands and pendulums to reverse my direction and get back out. But like with any other poi interaction, you can leave them there and reverse the direction and they naturally untangle. So there's lots that this opens up. Um, they're definitely necessary for doing a lot of the 360 work and things of that nature, but I started to get into flower work and especially anti-spin flower work. Um, but yeah, so that's just a little little something to have to think about. Maybe if you want to try it. Maybe if you don't. Oh well.